The U.S. Supreme Court is set to decide whether two of the world's largest chocolate companies can be held responsible for human rights abuses on cocoa farms in Western Africa. Six Millions, forced to work on Ivory Coast cocoa farms as children, are suing Nestle USA and privately held food corporation Cargill. They say they worked 14-hour days with little food and were beaten. They allege Nestle and Cargill knew about the conditions on the farms and that they provided the owners with financial help. The allegations um, are uh, horrific. Um, and I would hope that uh, that alone uh, would encourage uh, corporations um, uh, to be more careful. The 2005 suit was filed under the Alien Tort Statute, which allows non-U.S. citizens to fight violations of international law in U.S. federal court. Corey Wanless, a Toronto lawyer, says the case could have an impact outside the U.S. Anytime any nation starts to hold their own companies responsible for what's happened elsewhere, it provides a boost to other jurisdictions who might be considering the same questions. According to experts, the Supreme Court is expected to make a decision on the case by June. But Congress might bring in a bill based on this ruling that would really constrain them. I think that's the second fear. Dirk Mattin, a professor at the Schulich School of Business, says if the case stands and Nestle and Cargill are eventually found liable, aside from the financial penalty, the United States government or governments around the world could introduce stricter new regulations, something chocolate producers have so far been able to avoid. They, for instance, want to supply a government uh, facilities, the military, universities, and others. And the public sector is still a big um, consumer in this re respect, that they would have to prove, for instance, that the origin of their product uh, complies with certain human rights standards. Legal experts say Nestle and Cargill seem likely to eke out a narrow victory, which would leave other lawsuits in limbo, including a recent suit against Hershey, Nestle, Mars, and other chocolate makers. But Matten says for all chocolate makers, the damage may have already been done. I think they face much more scrutiny these days from investors, where we have an increase in uh, investors who are interested in returns, but not at any price. A growing number of investors are making financial decisions on moral grounds, and this case is putting the spotlight back on the cocoa industry. I think the reason why these companies should be very careful to let it uh, go through a legal process for so long because it just keeps the flame of negative PR boiling. Nestle and Cargill say they've taken steps to end child labor and slavery, but human rights groups say these abuses continue. Alyssa Julie, Global News.